Hey there again, it's me, Waste and Johnny Ty. I just want to take another couple of minutes of your time to talk about another great American company, Blackhawk. Blackhawk is a global leader when it comes to manufacturing tactical gear. The company was founded by Navy SEAL, who was overseas, that found himself in a landmine when his pack broke open, spilling his gear out. He told his buddy, if you make it back alive, I'm going to make better gear. And that's exactly what he did. Made it back to the civilian sector, started making packs in his garage, company grew from there. Blackhawk, again, is a world leader, and they've grown to make different products, including flashlights. They don't have that many, but the ones they do are phenomenal. Here's one of them, the Blackhawk Legacy. So if you can see here, it comes in a black gun-type case. Oops. It's foam lined, which is nice. And let's just talk about the accessories first. What makes this flashlight one of my favorites is it's a rechargeable, okay? So like most flashlights, it doesn't have a docking station, but it does have an AC, uh, DC adapter you can plug at home or at the office or when you're traveling in a hotel. But here's the good part, a car charger. I don't know how many flashlights come with car chargers, but this one does. And I'll tell you, this is probably the most valuable piece of gear I have because I keep it in my trunk and I own several tactical lights. When I sit in my trunk here in the winters of Chicago, the flashlight drains and my spare batteries drain as well. If I get a flat, it does me no good. So a rechargeable flashlight can be a lifesaver. The only thing I think would be better is if it had a USB adapter that can go back and forth. Uh, that technology exists. Maybe that will come out in a future model. Let's get to the good stuff. The Legacy XR, I'm sorry, XHR7 Night Ops, okay? This is a 350 lumen flashlight. It is bright. I'm going to show you that in a second. First, I just want to show you where the port is. Okay, this is really nice. Saw how I twisted it. Oops. Plugs right in there. Okay. Pull it off. Twist shut. Keeps the elements, water, dust out of it. Okay, which is really nice. Okay. It is a CNC aluminum. Kind of looks like a lightsaber. All right. Push button in the back. Okay, here we go for the brightness. I can light up my basement with this sucker, okay? In fact, I've lit up my entire backyard. I mean, this is the brightest flashlight I own. I do realize that there are flashlights out there. I think I saw one on the internet yesterday that said 820 lumens. I don't know who the heck needs 820 lumens, but 350 is plenty for me, okay? So that's the permanent feature, or you can just press the button. As you can see, it's probably just completely whiting out the camera. This is a great light. It's a fistful of metal for impact. If you're on the trail, uh, I go jogging at night, and I'll tell you, I've had a dog run out of me once. Anytime I hear a, a rustle in a bush today, I put a light on it and see what's going on. So a flashlight is an essential piece of gear, and I think that the Blackhawk Legacy XHR7 Night Ops is an essential piece of gear. If you want more information on this light, simply go to www.blackhawk.com. Dot com. Again, www.blackhawk.com. My name is Wayson Johnny Ty. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Have a safe and tactical day.